Welcome to Glen Carlo. My name is Johan. I'm the GM here, and with me I have Arco Larman, who happens to be our head winemaker. Hi, everybody. Glen Carlo is considered a premium producer of uh, both white and red wines here in South Africa, and we are very proud that we have now successfully completed 26 20. vintages. Um, and um, we are located, of course, in Paul, and uh, our location here is quite unique. We uh, have the Simonsburg right behind us, and this plays a very, very important part in the terroir here at Glen Carlo. We have these beautiful cool breezes at night that, that cools down the vineyards yeah. significantly, which drives our, our fruit acid. Um, the soils mostly decompose granite. Yeah, so we've got uh, mainly decomposed granite soils up in the top part of the farm um, where we have our quartzstone vineyard. Uh, then we also have some shale and uh, some sandstone. Um, our soils are not that deep, um, usually five to six feet, and we reach sort of a clay subbase that holds back restriction of growth on the, on the vines and um, uh, also uh, impacts our yield. So we usually have eight to ten ton maximum per hectare on, on, on all the varieties we have. So the main varieties we, we work with is, is Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Malbec, uh, Petit Vido, Cabernet Franc, and then uh, Shiraz and Mavedra. And have small plantings of Tanat and uh, Viennier and Chenin Blanc, just for experimental purposes. So, Arco, uh, we're going to taste the Pinot Noir uh, 2011. Yeah. Um, again, a wine that uh, we're very well known for. Yeah, yeah. Um, and does very, very well uh, in the particular vineyards where it's planted right now. The cooler, the cooler vineyards on the, on yeah, the farm, right? Yeah, on, 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 on the high, higher slopes. We, we're not a very high vineyard. We're only around 275 meters above sea level. But um, and Pinot is also a little bit of contentious for our area. Um, it was planted in the, in the 90s here. Um, we are the only producer of Pinot Noir really in Paul. But um, the style that I make, um, or, or that we, we make, is not overly wooded again, um, and a good balance of wood and fruit. And our vineyards, uh, we've just had some new plantings. They're getting eight, eight to ten years old now. Yeah, these are new clones, yeah. which you retain that organic um, farmyard, typical characters you would pick up with the Pinot Noir, but this is a little more primary fruit, uh, a lot of red fruits, beautiful strawberries and yeah. cherries usually on, on this wine. Yeah, the wine only has about 20% new oak. It's, it's, it's again to keep that, that, that sweet fruit uh, character coming through. Good, let's taste it. Let's try. So you can see the, the typical with, with Pinot Noir, it's a much lighter color. Um, it's, uh, it's known as heartbreak grape. It's a very difficult variety to work with. Um, we're actually the only producer of, of Pinot in, in Paul, which is, we're, we were making it since the 90s when Walter Finlayson was still on the farm. Um, but um, uh, compared to Elgin and uh, Walker Bay and Stellenbosch, it's, it's in a different style, but I retain that fruit by um, not using too much oak. So it's only about 10, uh, about 20% new, new oak. And uh, trying to get that uh, strawberry, raspberry sort of character coming through. Which really is driven by the, the clones that we plant. These are new clones. Yeah. Um, much they, fresher, much fresher on the nose. Yeah, the, the, the vineyards are, are now eight to ten years old, uh, virus free. Um, we're doing a lot of work with uh, with that and trying to be as natural, less spraying um, in the vineyards and such. Right. Let's right. try them. So it's that beautiful strawberry uh, red cherry character that comes through in the nose. Yeah. Nice and fresh. Yeah, not, n nice and fresh and, and not over dominating the oak. Right. Mmm. It's nice. Uh, nice balance of acid. Um, it's, uh, it's a nice temperature as well. Pinot can be drunk a slightly cooler. Um, uh, it's. Um, well, I, I recommend to drink it cooler because you get a lot more of that delicate fruit coming through. Rather serve something a little cooler than too warm, especially in the South African climate. It's, um, it's better that way. Um, and yeah, it's getting the, that nice um, soft tannins. Um, I don't know what you pick up on it. Other, other I, I love this wine 
um, I think a beautiful cinnamony, spicy finish mm. on the back while you retain the primary fruit on the entry. <clears throat> a really well balanced wine. It's, uh, yeah, I, I like to pair it with um, like confit duck uh, or uh, sea tuna and, and those type of dishes. It uh, really goes well. And it's of a good style to drink uh, on its own or, or with food. Enjoy. Yeah, great wine.